to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I am your host, D. Voss, and I'm just hoping that everybody is doing their 15 minutes of laughing because that helps you warm up your vocal cords. It makes you look youthful, keeps your pressure down. It also makes you feel better about yourself. So, and if, and if you don't have anybody to do the laughing with, you can always call somebody. You can put something funny on, or you can... Um, you know, and if it's at that, you know, you say, D-Boss, I really don't have anybody at all to do um, any laughing with, then um, you could sign up for some laughing classes. And it also tones your abs. I'm not saying stop going to the gym, but, you know, it'll keep your abs uh, toned, which a lot of people will have to be doing over the next set of a uh, couple of weeks with these holiday season, <laughs> I suggest. All right, so... We're going to hear something from one of our sponsors, Vital Steps to Vital Health, and we'll be right back with our special guest. Welcome to your Vital Steps to Better Health and Fitness. I'm Joanne James. Today we're going to talk about the effects of no exercise on the muscles. Many people are spending a lot of time sitting at their desk and not exercising, as well as the internet has taken people out of the exercise realm and into sitting down and playing games on their phones. There is a major detriment to not exercising. When you don't exercise, your muscles become weak and that impacts your bones. So now you have both weak muscles and weak bones. The other problem is you lose strength and the daily activities that you like to do become more difficult. So it's important to be doing some form of exercise to keep the muscles toned. And thirdly, your body composition will change. You will end up getting more body fat and less muscle mass, which then tends to be unattractive and you lose energy and you become more fatigued. So do yourself a favor, get into a great exercise routine, find somebody who can put you on a great program. Your body's gonna love it. I'm Joanne James, and this has been your Vital Steps to Better Health and Fitness. Take care. Thank you, Joanne James, for that. You know, we got to get into more, a little bit more exercising. We're, we're, you know, I'm encouraging everybody to do things like that because, you know, everybody's just sitting, sitting, sitting on their phone, as she said, you know, just doing those things. Sometimes I'm sitting doing interviews for, you know, I'm thinking that I'll get up in 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and next, you know, two hours pass, and here I'm still sitting, <laughs> and I haven't got up. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting into that routine. It just takes a little adjustment to get into that, just to get up and move, and you're going to feel a lot better. But anyways, I got a special guest here, and we're going to find out all about what he's doing, what he wants to do, wants to accomplish, and he's also here with his producer, um, Yogi, a.k.a. Troy. So with no further ado, I introduce to you Alton Willis. <laughs> yes, <laughs> greetings <laughs> to the world, the boss and the whole family, you know? Yeah, the whole yeah. Real Life Matters family, there's a lot of people yeah. out there. <laughs> you be <you, you>, reaching. <laughs> so, as we were saying, the background we were running the jokes, I wish the boss, I wish the name about the name about Yogi. That's not an entertainment. <laughs> I'm originally Chai, Chai Warren, originally Saturn Entertainment, you know? Oh, so. okay. Well, you could tell us it was Yogi, aka Troy, because he said he just got this newly adapted name. So I know. <laughs> All of a sudden, he just pop it for me like that. Yeah. <laughs> Real man, but for real, D boss, big up yourself, man, to the world, man. Nice talking with you, you know. Yeah, all right. So, here, yes, we know you come from Jamaica, but you know, people here want to know like what area you come from because that's what they'll inbox and say, Well, Alton said he come from Jamaica, but so that doesn't mean anything. we want to know. You know say, honestly, we come from Eastern Kingston, Jamaica, which part of music really, okay. I got a certain way when me even do a song named Street Youth, where basically I had the concept of when I see out of my eyes, me just sing the song too. When I come from up mostly over my side, a studio like dub plate studio, like you have a studio over my side named Arrow Studio and them. But Kingston, Jamaica, full of music overall. So you don't come you from know, Waterhouse? No, not that, that's the part where you have some wicked nice studio over them part, but there's another part that 
That's yeah. true, we John John. But for me, for me, for me, people and um, people in the business certain way from that side still where Saturn do yeah. business with John John and well, I know Andrew B's and Black Uhuru and all well, those guys. Yeah, and Jamin. Shaba and all them guys. Yeah, for real. <laughs> all right, and, all and, and, and Troy, where you come from? I come from Kingston, Jamaica, too. Oh, too? Oh, you come from there, too? Okay. Yeah. I was uh, you said you're Walton coming from Park Park Road, Ugly Park Road. Uh, I went to Jamaica College. Okay. You know, so yeah, went to high school there, came up here when I was in my 20s and started doing some music and then hooked up with Alton and started doing some producing and here we are right now. Okay, yeah. and and obviously, I just lost my train of thought what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, and you reside here in uh, Canada now? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, people want to find you, link up with you here in Canada, but you could travel anywhere, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah. But more, mostly, well, you can find me on Facebook, Troy or Saturn Entertainment. You know, just Google me if you want to uh, reach me. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, mm. so Alton, what mm -hmm. made you want to become an entertainer? Honestly, that I come from far, and I don't even my heart and I have a feeling. It's like my father from from way back. My father used to love certain various kind of artists, and his favorite his, his favorite favorite artist was Alton Ellis. An artist named Alton Ellis was singing some studio one music, and he you know like some nice studio one music. Every song him sing is a hit song, you know. And the music is changed. So as a kid growing up, seeing this. I, the story I get is like because him name Willis and him love that artist, he named me as Alton. So I basically named from the veteran of that artist. But musically, vocally, I get the singing vocal from my mother. But if we have loving the music itself as a daughter, I really, my father, because my mother is more shy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So. You have some musical background from your father. So did you go to take any formal training or you just started which, which just going? No, that's as I was going say, the training come natural as I'm um, from, from like embedded, like through my mother, because even like, say for instance, she would be a, like a church, if she go to a church or something, and it's just in the past, I'll tell the people them to quiet, because you want to hear her voice, her voice alone is like a choir. Okay. In her, that's why you, you see. So, but growing up with that energy and coming to Canada in the nineties, early nineties, I get myself formed with a, a, a band like a Roots Movement band. So, so I get the versatility with live music certain way. But I used to DJ and my father changer. He used to have a changer thing, like the version. The version when he played the version and there was like a sound system in my area the yeah. atomic bomb oh so yes so you know what i mean and the singers that used to be on that system they used to name for themselves from this singer named sugar minor so you used to have gary minor you have Pata minor so you know for me just my mother used to just sing i give myself all kind of name our people give me all kinds of name, but the reason why I say Alton Willis is because my mother always say your name Alton Willis. And I always tell me the story like I'm telling you about when I was a kid, why I get the name Alton Willis. So that's how I come oh, okay. to with knowing some just push my real name as my artist name. But generally, you know, an artist have a stage name, which may have a stage name in Ottawa. You know. Okay. But it's, it's not, yeah, it's like, you know, Bounty Killer done, didn't know him Bounty Killer, but them call it Killer Period. They say when I go on the mic, I kill it. Okay. So I'm like a mic killer. All right. So who have you worked <laughs> with in the industry? You want to tell them that basically uh, try it. I'm waiting to come out, you know, I'm going to work with. Who we perform with? Yeah, we know, yeah. We can, like, oh, yeah. Bojo Bantan, yeah. Melissa. Not really working, really but my am going show yeah. where, like, oh, basically, yeah. the industry where um, 
All I can say is, as you say, with Bujo Bantan, this is no lighting or nothing. Um, you know, I would be like, say, for instance, show up the Ottawa artist and he come and he's a now. So he was saying something to the people, I'm like, $14,000 and them have like $11,000. So I was going to give them a mediocre style, like, you know? So I was the open artist. So when I done perform with my band, Bujo Bantan, Sing like it, you know, done sing it like he just come out of the shower, taking the, the way he was sweating. He do from his first old school straight down to his latest. Okay. To catch back the energy, um, to put back um, the artist that come, because the energy that I put, because remember I wasn't the main artist. I was just, you know. So that was Luigi Show. I'm a record lady, sir. Various other artists, too. And some festival. And some festival, yeah. Okay. All right. So if you had the opportunity to work with um, any artist to do a collaboration, who would you like to do it with? Like, as well, the artists are basically any artist, of course, any artist. Any, any artist, because today any a lot of artists. people collaborating together. If it's just not reggae artists, if you want to enter it, like maybe Afrobeat, Soka, you know. Yeah, but I like but I like do a song with a pitch eye vocalist artist and you know you know like you have Beyonce can pitch eye and okay. yeah and, and what's me Maria Carey and you know that's the, and then now in the reggae world you know, as a veteran you know that work with Bojo I'm gonna like work with Capitan like collaborate certain way as I said as an artist and if I get the chance to work with Spice same way because she take my music an artist is like for real but yeah of course any one of them okay once them Buster Rhymes I can see you do something with him me and Buster Rhymes yeah when I kill it yeah. <laughs> it's true yeah <laughs> for real that's true yeah yeah okay yeah. especially when especially if you get in nine vibes when going at a fast rapping thing there <laughs> yeah right it's true <laughs> Actually, what's that yeah. um, artist called that sing uh, weed? Which one? Uh, white dude there. Um, the Caliban. Oh, he's talking, talking Caliban. Oh. Yeah. We, we work with Caliban. Oh, the Taliban. But yeah. the, night, the night he said he only come to do art of raw. And then, <gasps> yeah, and when I go on the stage, he come take the mic out of my hand. But that's Caliban mostly. So I let go the mic and he spit yeah. out his biggest song. Okay. So we start to we start to do combination together basically. Okay. Because he was like, sitting sitting up in the club being Calibur doing his autograph and stuff. But yeah. the way I was dealing with the stage, as I say, as I kill the mic, you know. Yeah, we've been through. We have to come up and go. Finally, the year come around. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's hear it. Yeah, come on. I want to yeah, hear. Let's hear it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> let's hear it. Let's hear you singing. Let, let come on, people. People want to know you sing. How, how you sing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, All right, like the tune I'm gonna push right now. I'm gonna give my original tune. Like I'm give the hit tune or the mama tune and the, the punchline for mama. Yes, why not? Oh, mama, I love you, mama. Be your blessing and your prayer. Oh, mama, I love you, mama. Just be your because it's when me want you living now. Surrounded by a whole heap of helper. Drive you around when you want with a chauffeur. Because you're worth more than diamond, gold, and silver. And me need is a blessing of your prayer. Because your payback is not a favor. You did it the way I man was a sufferer. So stick around now, things is getting better. Oh, mama, I love you, mama. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that's how the song go. When we're gonna hear the song for so when you wrote that song, you, you, okay, you wrote that for your mother. What 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 was the what was the you know the thinking? No, because I come into the house and basically in the song, if you really check it out on the verse, everything is like it's already come to my head because it's like it's one day she just 
come and see her sit into the living room and just feel for sex because it's like she always like if me, if me feel like I'm vibes like me feel to get into as I hear you say earlier people have to keep themselves with laughter in certain way and you know don't don't the person I'm getting her if I'm getting her like a different career natural human you know I'm getting a different right. she alone can make me feel like so it's like she make me feel with as my saying there's a part in my to say if I was when I was down and low you make me feel rich before my dream come true so she made me feel like me have a little million dollar if me have a million dollar. So, you know? And it's not like why say nothing um like nothing out um how would I say it now? It's just a simple answer. We make sense. That's okay. when you don't know self for real. Once you have life or something like that, you it's hopes and things will always happen and just keep on doing good for people and good will come back to you and you understand right and, and to my mother i'm confident they live by where she said i believe by where she said just live up to the thing so so the song just comes to me like you know okay well we can play this song now and you could you could do you you just sang a piece for it first for real big up and said big boss so we're, gonna play, so we're gonna play this now people so you know so you can hear this song and you guys go streaming i don't i'm not playing the video part with you i'm just gonna hear the mp3 so you can go see the video and big up his uh you know his youtube channel there so let's go ahead all right here we go all right here we go Understand? <laughs> yeah, because I'll try to explain it to my mother to sing it. You know, she you must sing tell me. You sound like you've been through the labor. Yeah, because of the song, I should, I should explain to me. I should explain something. Say, she said nine months before, or or what she got through. 
Yes. At the first line of Kingston, when she has a car of nine and four, she has a piece of money. We get it's it. Like my man, Mr. <laughs> Mr. You know what? Because I take her from a cook her in a, in a, in a labor now because she is not going to labor because I'm tired now. I'm tired of coming to them. Yeah, <laughs> so I just say, no, I'm not making them cut you. So I just. <laughs> All right. In other words. So what are you working on now? What that is, eh? What the, what I work on right now various tracks, you know. But right okay. now, that is, I'm never tracking him with that is, eh? And try and wrap up other children and not show off. No, daddy said, No, be no gun. What daddy say, I never have a children, they say, Get rich, but not show off. Not show off, it mean basically. Yeah, I'm a remix elegant woman. I may have a children, elegant woman, which I didn't have a use to produce before soccer. So you write your own songs? Basically. I'm a songwriter, basically. I'm a good songwriter still. Like, you know, <laughs> you tell me you're not sure, but huh? you sound like you're not sure. No, no, I said, no, I said, basically, for real. I, I okay. know, that, you know, for real, that was natural to him. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, when you do your, your, your thinking and your creativity, where do you do that? Like, you're driving, you're having a drink, you're just walking around, driving, driving. I like my therapist. If me, I got around to like it, the shore. The show before me, the show when I have New Year before me, which is shows like you now, I have my snow tires, so I'm not have to worry about know, Canada and the roads. The, the, the snow, so I'm not have to worry about my mom. So, yeah. so driving stimulates me, so it's like that's my way of it. That's a person drink to catch a vibe. Okay. So that's my vibes when I catch before I catch an energy for real. I mean, I'm a good state of mind to go up on the stage, the stage, you know? Okay. All right, and then and then what you do is you run down to the producer and stuff when you got your stuff going, so that you can uh, <laughs> so you can record, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, but in love, in love when we come with some a Rasta man, on, you know, you know a Rasta thing. You know. In love when we come with some 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 tune, my man. Yeah. yeah, but he's a versatile artist. No? Okay. Sing all kind of true. Not really rude tune, you know, but I'm versatile. I can't go deep dance all like, you know. I mean, but we keep it steady. Okay. Yeah. Well, we yeah. work, we work with, we work with, work with a fellow in Jamaica by GK. You know, he makes all the beats, he makes it down for us and master it. Pretty uh, genius kid, you know. Okay. You know? So he's part of the team. Yeah, man. Big up to GK Productions, you know. He <laughs> G boss, right. you are D boss. Big up G boss. D <laughs> D boss, set I, I am the original D boss Sessor. because my la my first name. People that don't know or people that know is Darlita, and my last name is Bostic, so I got D boss. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's See, nice, if you know? can be me, right? You keep your man, cause he's a boss, you know. <laughs> and you keep it simple, you know. I love that. Yeah, he's a boss, you know, like. So you keep it real, you know. Well, well some people got a problem. They want to know who the boss of me is, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> the boss or the boss, man. No worries about boss. that. No <laughs> worries about that. that. That's why she is not working at the moment. Yeah. All right. So we got a lot to look forward for you in 2024 coming because you say you're doing all the releasing, all these music. Yeah, because three more come with some nice video for 2024 so when you go up in a youtube and check out alton willis you can okay. see some good quality video and some so for real so people can look forward to that and look forward to some some good tunes and good sturdy tunes because you know i'm a singer a tune him get us struggling when we notice i'll do it I notice it's it going on in Kingston right now, certain way. I say, look, it's like my song, whatever I sing is like, it's a futuristic. It's like them catch up on the, like I said, I sing it beyond them. Like I said, I sing it 20, like in a, make a tune in a 2020. Okay. Like 2023 now to 24, it's like a it, a it a up on them things. Like. So okay. I'm, I'm good as a writer, them way there. Okay. As a, as a songwriter, you know? So, so you only like to do um, reggae music, or no? We can't sing all kind of music, but we just come for we just come for them to sing like a reggae artist, like you know, as reggae okay. time grow. Yeah. So you're open because a lot of people are a lot of reggae artists. I notice are going to a lot of the soca artists, and they're doing a little bit of collab. They not they don't have to change their 
yeah, how they yeah. speak and how they're doing their songs, but they're yeah. just in there. I'm like that, Taurus that Riley yeah. with Kess in the band, you know, they got f of different people. So because they, every year they got to come up with, with hits for Carnival, you know, for the uh, yeah, Carnival. Yeah, like so me I'm like not sure when you tell me about my tells. I remember true when I had a kid from another producer, his kid, when I had him, I do it and I write the next verse for him. But I write a song like I say, but it's basically like a festival. You know? But it's true, I have a copy of myself, so a person can't sell them camera. I wouldn't hear a dream. Jamaica, that is where I'm from. Jamaica, that is from my island. Jamaica, it's from the south, not the north. Don't get too mad because. Well, Jamaica is an island in the camp. You know what I said? When I said, don't get so mad, don't get so mad. Because, but, don't make me get mad for me, but, yeah, because I'm telling you about that. What I said? We're getting him live and direct, people. Alton Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Alton Lewis is the one that said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's more like a festival, like, you know, song. I'm going to say, Saturn, you know, so I'm going to put, make right arm sing that tune and put it as a festival tune. Okay. Then I'm going to go down even the part where I'm going to tell you about the 14 parish, then I'm start from Kingston, Kingston, and then Yalas, St. Thomas, and Port Antonio, Portland, okay. and I give it all of them go down, you know? Yeah. So, yes, well, they're doing that now in, um, you know, uh, you guys in Jamaica now, they're having like a, a, a carnival. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that's a, that's a big step up, you know, for, <laughs> because... It's <laughs> <laughs> like a music festival, right? You know, it's like yeah. carnival, for real. Yeah, they had to get, yeah. you had to get into that mix. Well, you got to come back. You got to come back, Alton. <laughs> true, true. We want you to come back. You know, to tell us about your new music, you can play your new music. But you know, today we get to know who Alton is, and of course, I'm um, Troy there. <laughs> yeah, man, so, start your entertainment, man. My producer, big up yourself, you know, yes. push me through the road for 2024, oh. you know. All right, so is there any shout outs that you want to give to your people? Yeah, just want to say shout out to, 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 um, Chris Fire, where you really give me the link, where have the link with the bars, come, I love the link. And, Shout out to Lulu, Marshall, and shout out to Saturn himself, Entertainment. Shout out to Late on the Table. We have to shout out to the Boss. Shout out right. to G Boss. Troy, Troy, Troy want to say something. I see his lips And shout out to the people that were listening to it, too, you know? You know, man, same thing. Shout out to everybody, to everybody he said, man, you know? This year, you know? Can I produce some nice music for 2024? Yeah, man, we've we been watching you. Okay. <laughs> the people at Real Life Matters and on Care Vision, you know, they see and they go, mm hmm, let's see what's going to happen. So, we'll be back. Yeah, man. Maybe, ho is. maybe hopefully we can invite you down here once, once we're involved in a festival or something. Yes. You know? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And also, where, where can people find you on your social medias? Can you give us that? Well, I'm on, I'm on Facebook, really. Um, maybe as a tally. Um, so I turned up on people. Me basically, that's why me go work as you say. We talk on right. Me basically, you can just put in Alton Willis. Yes. yes. You can find him on Spotify, Apple just... Music, any anywhere, Amazon. Okay, so you guys and pay for the streaming people because that's what puts you guys in the ratings. Yes. yes. Word. You know. You know what I mean, and, and that's why a lot of people do a lot of things with the Spanish artists and them because they put the the spanish people support the artists they put them in the, mm -hmm. on the charts mm -hmm. so and that's that one nice. of the and that was nice. told from one of the artists that i've interviewed on cass smith he lives in puerto yeah. Barata, mexico yeah so, yeah mm -hmm. and also um charlie chaplin charlie chaplin <laughs> you know my mama showed down and i'm um, smith fall the other day and they were supposed to find that show yeah, the producer yeah. said late linkedin I was supposed to late, late, late. We'll get to them late. I'm like, look how close the man come. I mean, should I be on that show? Oh uh, well, you know what? You, now's the time mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta put your 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 information out because you know here in T Ontario how much festivals we have. So yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them are full. So they got a lot of festivals, Welland, Owen Sound, they're all down, you know. Yeah, but it's not are you just the ones in the GTA, but the actually, ones Actually, we need a we need our foot in Toronto because see, in but, Ottawa, we have like the festival yeah, covered have, here. We have Ottawa covered in Toronto and other Yes, Ottawa too. 
But you see the boss, you see the boss check this out. No. You see, and that's why I get all leave a year leave now because I put my put my foot out in a Toronto and and then by by getting the link to fire Chris Fire and link up on the show and then get so you see if yeah, well, 12, 12, 12 million people can be seeing you. So no, on no, no. vision, 28 different countries. You're going to the, the fans them are going to everywhere. Few, few of them are on the show. I so said the bad artists from Ottawa. Because yes. they don't want to say I'm artists in Canada. Mm -hmm. Can you really? I'm getting a lot, a lot, a lot of people because some of them I didn't know they were out here. But, you know, we're, I'm getting them. So, which is good. Word. Really? All right. So I do I want to it. thank you for, you know, both of you guys for coming and, you know, we're talking, we're talking about your journey and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I do want to thank the viewers tonight for watching uh, Real Life Matters here. So good night really? and bye. Bye for now. Bye. Uh, bye. Bless, bless up to the fans.